Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel One Pizza Too Many Cooking and Unboxing Videos and today I'm dead excited to be bringing you pizzas in an air fryer. We're using the Ninja Dual Zone air fryer for this but any air fryer that you've got that doesn't have a spinning paddle and it's just a standard normal air fryer that blows the hot air around the air fryer, give this one a go. Now make sure you are staying tuned to the channel and you are hitting that notifications bell for when I release new content so you don't miss out. Now I'm dead excited because I love pizzas as you can tell. Yeah I've got big pizza oven here from Skillcraft, Kamado's but I thought you know what let's give it a go in an air fryer. So I'm going to move you in, I'm going to show you the ingredients that I've got and then dead quick and easy we're going to put some pizzas together. The ingredients and equipment we're using for making the pizzas are two dough balls. These dough balls are 180 grams each. We've got some flour for dusting and for pushing the pizzas out. We have some tomato based sauce, some pepperoni, some jalapenos and also some grated mozzarella. Of course we're going to be doing this in the air fryer and we for today we've chosen the Dual Zone Ninja air fryer. We have a pizza wheel for cutting and also a scraper just here in case we need it for getting the dough off the plate. So now we've run through the ingredients, let's build a couple of pizzas and it's dead dead simple. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of our dough balls now. This is fresh dough that I've made. Check out the video in the link just next to me for how to make your own pizza dough. So first thing we're going to do, put some flour on the board and I'm going to use the scraper just to go between and I'm going to pick the whole thing up and place it into the flour like so then turn it over just so it's coated and put it onto the board and then normally I would push this pizza out so all the air goes into the crust into a nice round pizza shape but we don't want to do that today because we're obviously using the air fryer so I get one of the baskets out for this particular air fryer the Ninja Jewel Zone it has a base so what I'm going to do we're actually going to make the pizza shape the base or just slightly smaller than the base of this and it's really really simple all I'm going to do is push all the nice air into the crust and I'm going to place this on For those of you that watch the channel a lot, the temperature has dropped, but we're still okay for now. There we go. So you can just stretch your dough just to meet the shape. Like that. Next we have some tomato sauce base topping. Again, dead quick link on how to make yours really easily. And all I'm going to do is a couple of spoons. Now, I think this particular air fryer would lend itself really well to De uh, Detroit style pizzas. Um, I'm going to see if I can pick up some sort of pizza pans to go inside this and try it out. If you've got Detroit style pans that fit in a fryer like this, let me know where you got them from, how much, and I might just buy myself some and we'll give it a go there we go then some cheese 
So I've got grated mozzarella. Just going on, not too much. Then for me, I love pepperoni. Like so, and then I am just going to put some jalapenos on one. Do you say jalapeno or do you say jalapeno? Let me know in the comments. I love a good conversation starter like that. And there we have it, the pizza is topped, ready to go in the air fryer. So let's get them in. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this on and I'm going to get it hot. So I'm going to switch it on. I'm going to press max crisp 240 and time. I'm going to do it for 15 minutes. I'm going to press match because I want both drawers to work the same. And I'm going to press start. I'm going to let this heat up for a couple of minutes and then we're going to get the pizzas in. So this has now been on for about three and a half minutes, heating up, and all I'm going to do is take the basket out and I'm carefully going to place this in. Now hopefully I won't burn myself, there we go. And the other side. So in one end and drop it. Now these are going to take around five to six minutes, so join me then, we'll take them out. These have now had six and a half minutes, so let's open the drawers. And oh man, and already a little teaser there of what's to come. Wow. Puffed up. Well baked. Six and a half minutes, I'd say they were done, so let's get these out on the chopping board and have a look. So the first one. All I'm going to do is kind of tease it off. And slide it out. And we have got a little bit of pepperoni that's come off, but not to worry, we can just put more on. And the next one. off fairly easily and if you if you could with your hands you can just lift it out careful to burn yourself and we have the two pizzas there I think they look pretty good for air fried pizzas you'll see the base not as crispy as if you'd have done these in a pizza oven but you know what pretty good i'd say so let's cut through and yeah little little air pocket nothing massive but you know again for an air fry pizza i think it's pretty good the crust yeah it's got a crust all the way around. What you could do is make them a little bit smaller so that the air gets underneath better um, or put them straight into the base if you've heated the base up more put it straight into the base but you know what for six and a half minutes for a pizza um, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to cut the uh, ones with the chilies on as well and then let's Let's have a little taste. Mmm. It 
tastes really good. Really good. Wow. Now, I definitely think, like I said earlier, this lends itself to a lower, slower Detroit style cook. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some pans that fit this. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna make some Detroit style pizzas in this ninja dual air fryer. You could also do it in the grill, or if you had a foodie in the base pot, perfect. Or if you've got any other um, air fryers, let me know what air fryer you're using in the comments below. Uh, did it work? Again, let me know. So then we're sharing the community of practice across everyone. So until next time, everyone, thanks for watching. Um, hope you've found the content useful. If you have, give me a thumbs up. I'll make sure you are subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. One pizza too many.